I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, uh, which is a primary bone cancer in my left upper arm area here. Uh, I was diagnosed on April 25th of 2013, and it was the day after my husband and my third wedding anniversary that we celebrated in hospital, and I had a biopsy the next day. I received um, a combination of chemotherapy and surgical resection where I had chemotherapy prior to the surgery um, that reduced the tumor size and then once it was reduced they could go in and remove it. So they removed the top half of my um, humerus which is your upper arm bone and a lot of the muscle, the supporting tissues of the shoulder, everything was replaced with an artificial joint and prosthetic limb, internal prosthetic limb. Um, even though they were able to remove the entire tumor in the surgery, I was still um, to go on and have nine cycles of chemotherapy in case there was any tiny disease left over that they could not see at the surgery. The chemotherapy prior to the surgery was two months. The surgery um, had to be done in Toronto because that is in Canada where the qualified surgeon to do that operation is. Um, we spent three weeks in Ontario, a week in hospital there, and then we came home and I had chemotherapy for about five months afterwards. I only received five of the nine cycles of chemo after. Um, I've been cancer-free since uh, July 18 of 2013, the day of my surgery. It was very wonderful to hear that news, so yeah, best news ever. My key to success with the treatment, um, first and foremost, was my family, my husband Mark, my five sisters, my parents, um, extended family that comes along with Mark, friends as well, co-workers everybody coming to visit and their positive attitudes and also the Pink Wig Foundation and the help that they gave financially to support us as well. The Pink Wig Foundation reached out to me um, shortly after I was diagnosed to hear that news that they had heard about me and were wanting to help was very wonderful news to get. Pink Wig had a positive impact on my journey with cancer by taking away the financial worry that I and my husband had. I was hospitalized for 200 days from the 1st of May to the end of that year. I only had 26 days at home and my husband took 10 months off of work at that time. So without an income coming in um, steady, some bills pile up and any money that can relieve the stress and can allow you to think positively about your treatment success and the outcome is a wonderful thing to happen. So, uh, Since remission I am living differently probably by living for the day, enjoying the day, enjoying the little things, enjoying the people in the day thankful for smaller things, you know, living life rather than being worried about cancer. So, uh, Advice that I'd have to give uh, to women going through um, what I have gone through is to stay strong, to surround yourself with all of the supports around you that want to help, take their help, and think positive. It makes the day go easier when you're thinking positive and just to stay strong. Just would like to thank people who donated to Pink Wig because their donations really did help us out in the time of need. And just thank you for the donations you made because it really did impact how our experience was with dealing with cancer.